to the next presentation by Dr. Dipankar Das. What's new of fluorescein strain in ophthalmic pathology? Respected chairpersons, experts, good evening. I'm presenting my uh, innovation of fluorescein strain in ophthalmic pathology. Financial disclosure name. From the bottom arrow on the left side, on the left corner, there would be an arrow which would be pointing towards the right. It's okay. Yeah. So this clinical situation one where we can see no, a can't, corner as no. no Dr. Depankar, this yes, yes, perfectly all right now. Yes. Okay. Clinical situation where corneal ulcer and the infinity was seen, and this patient's scraping was done, and it showed a drug deposits and careful frozen stain down on the scraping showed a fungal element, and it was confirmed by 10% KOH stain. Second situation is a eviscerated specimen with evil tissue vitreous and post PK corneal case with IOL and the intraocular lens and the vitreous showed fungal element. And after three days of permanent section, we have seen fungus in GMST. In situation three, we see a optic nerve tumor in an enucleated specimen and just putting a fluorescein drop in the specimen over the optic nerve you can see the calcified samoma bodies, which after three days, when HND stain was done, you, you, you can appreciate the same samoma body in that area. Now, in this situation where a cyst-like structure was uh, given by surgeon from OT, uh, from orbit, the frozen stain was done in this, and it shows a protoscollex with a various calcified bodies. And you can well appreciate in frozen stain the different structure of echinococcus species, and it is better than even HND stain slide, which was done after four days of permanent section. So eye pathology is very unique as transparent structure are present in different parts of the eye. And the aim of the study is to see the sodium frozen the usefulness for staining raw specimen in ophthalmic pathology. This was a laboratory-based observational study. Now, this fluorescein stain was taken uh, from uh, FFA angiographic room and in a 3 ml available vial, and uh, the pH was maintained for the stain between 8.2 to 9.6. Now, this drop of fluorescein was put on the uh, slide which was uncoated, and then the contact times were just for 30 to 45 seconds. And uh, it was photographed, different pathologies are photographed under objective of uh, microscope. Now you see the sebaceous gland, for example, in frozen section was studied, the enucleated eyeball, particularly for retinoblastoma seeds, choroidal melanoma seeds, and other cells, the RP cells in different pathologies were studied. Now, RB seeds were compared with the drusens. RB seeds had typically honeycomb-like appearance, unlike the drusens. The transparent retina with the blood vessel and retinal pigment cell, etc., were seen for different pathology, fat cells, and IOL haptic and optics for particularly for biofilling and uh, pigmented and fungus were analyzed. Now, this is a uh, in forthcoming. IGO article, there's the comparison between RBC by fluorescein and HND stain was made. You can see out of 35 retinoblastoma cases where seeding is being seen, all 35 cases fluorescein picked up the seeding, whereas around 50% cases HND stain picked up the seeding. Just to say, when you process the sample, some of the seedings are being, because they are very fragile and some of the seeding are eliminated. Now, you see there are in frozen microsis and confocal microsis, which are very, very expensive, uh, costing quotes of rupees. 
but our study can be done in cost effective in a simple light or compound microscopy. In future, this uh, uh, stain can be used in, in vivo in uh, various subjects such as brain surgery to demarcate the tumor for various endoscopy in the viscera and other parts as well as dermoscopy can be done to locate the fungus in the skin, etc. directly. So now, septic fungus, minute. parasites, thank you. Parasite viral inclusion bodies, various infectious pathology by uh, documented effectively by this stain. Pigmented cells, fungus in IVL surfaces, RBC compared with Druze that I've already told you, parasitic identification and retinal pigment epithelium uh, for various pathologies has been documented. This study highlighted a novel method of rapid staining of cross ophthalmic pathology specimen. So far, we have taken more than 5,500 photographs of different pathologies pertaining to eye and other areas. Now, we know the theory of everything as Professor Einstein and uh, uh, Stephen Hawking, where a particular stain can be used in, in so many cases. So the innovation right from the anatomy, the tumor that is pathology, infection that is microbiology in a rapid, easy, and a most cost-effective way. And these are some of the publications that we have made and some are, are coming in the forthcoming uh, peer reviewed journal. And just to quote, in observable science, there's always something in everything. And these are my acknowledgement, our patient, clinician, pathology lab, and thank you very much for patient hearing. I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dipankar. Uh, that was a spectacular, you know, beautiful presentation, full of colors. And sometimes we really wonder why we didn't think of these simple things before. And, you know, uh, in fact, all the presentations today were like that. They were uh, so uh, uh, lucidly, clearly done. And you wonder why you never ever thought about it before. But wonderful correlation and like I said, even the microbiologists and pathologists have to learn from ophthalmologists now on, you know, how to do things uh, in a more easy uh, manner. Uh, Thank you. Parth, anybody else would want to say, Partha? Excellent. Uh, excellent way of demonstrating uh, uh, these, uh, uh, I mean, images. Uh, one thing again, Dipankar, with your scientific mind, I'm sure you have uh, the whole set and the whole series, which are possible because of uh, the time frame, uh, you were not able to demonstrate. But what is the approximate numbers uh, about, of the 5,500 photographs that you have taken and correlation with the uh, other staining procedures, other imaging procedures? All these cases are seen in fresh specimen. Means after fixation in the formalin, next day when they are in the in after crossing, I I put a closing drop and seeing what is there. So immediate diagnosis. All these cases has been uh, subjected for a HND stain. So and other special stain, for example, GMS for fungus. PS for basement membrane, then Elshen wood for mucin, and other special stain. For example, it's a amyloid Congo red. But thing is that this stain, you no, know, is most important thing is that of this stain is that in vivo diagnosis. For example, for example, I've shown a echinococcus which can be picked so nicely. Suppose there is a echinococcus in the liver and the open biopsy has been made. Just putting a drop of fluorescein, which is not toxic to the tissue, can demonstrate the uh, organism itself over the liver directly. If you have a uh, microscope, as uh, Dr. Uh, showed by modification of a what you call uh, um, smartphone, okay, and you can document those things. Suppose the endoscopy you are uh, doing and you are seeing that there is a uh, possibility of a, either a, a stricture because of in the esophagus, because of fungus or by cancer. Dysplasia can be picked up in this case and fungus can be picked up. So by putting an endoscopy and even in the brain surgery, what is important is that suppose one very important difference between a meningioma and a, a, a glioma. There is something called a, 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 a 
uh, arachnoid gliomatosis. What happened? The glioma, in spite of spreading to the pyometer, they comes down and into the subarachnoid space. And here they confuse the glioma with meningioma. In those in superficial biopsy, in this superficial biopsy, we put a drop of uh, fluorocyte in OT with a high power handle uh, uh, microscope or a objective microscope, you can pick up those things directly by the surgeons. So this innovation can lead to the certain things of the rapid diagnosis and differentiating between a tumor uh, organisms and other pathologies. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dipankar. And now